So as data explodes, especially in the media vertical, we're expected to create the same amount of data in the next three years that we have in the previous three decades. One of the big challenges is just the increase of data and the, the rapid increase of data and being able to support that within a, an infrastructure and within a footprint that may be finite. An easy answer to that would be to buy more storage, but that's not always so easy. There's a lot of costs associated with it. And that becomes a huge problem for facilities, producers, executives in companies of having these assets. So the better answer is to do better management of the data that we have, better management of the storage systems that we have. We have to have some some ability to index it, some ability to search against it, some ability to just give us reports on where all of this data and how that data inevitably moves from one location to another. And we need to have that that system that allows us to report on that, and we see Discover as being a tool that's going to enable that. Discover is that single point of glass that shows us all of our storage utilization. It's that single group of indexes that is going to show us what is sitting on-prem, whether it's sitting on a SAN or it's sitting on one of our NASs, or if it is sitting in one of our archives that's sitting on Wasabi storage, or if it's sitting in S3, we can see that all of that in one location. I can do a comparison of a point in time of between what the storage looked like today versus what the storage looked like a week ago. And we can, in time, utilize that information to project what our growth is going to be looking like. Another advantage to this software is that it's built on a proven open source core called Elasticsearch. And even your IT department should be very familiar with it and understand it and be comfortable with it. The the search engine inside of Discover is very powerful. Uh, with Elasticsearch running on the back end, I can plug in a, a very complex search to search across our entire storage system or limit it to one or multiple volumes with any string. Finding that content, monetizing it, understanding where the SD version is, the HD version, this frame rate, where is it, and how much are we paying for it? And that's really what this software addresses. As long as we've got the file, it's going to show up inside of Discover. The tag can carry additional metadata or business context. Tags can be used in terms of workflow actions and workflow approval processes. We use Discover's tagging functionality to indicate what a retention period might be based on what a client's requirements are. So now we find it or we have an inventory of what we have. And yes, there is analysis we need to do on it. Right? So you can do simple stuff. Are there any corrupt frames in it? Like just because I have an inventory doesn't tell me of an impending fire coming that I need to address. Without some sort of analysis constantly going on, nobody can do any work. You can get a global view of all of the assets that the software can see and understand not just where it is and what it is, but also how much it's costing you. We can associate dollar figures to understand one volume has a, an effective rate, dollars per gigabyte, where another volume may have a different rate. And we can do all those metrics and monitor the utilization of those different systems. We have Discover uh, integrated with our Active Directory. So we use Active Directory as our single knowledge base for authentication. Within that Active Directory, we can provide different access levels of different security groups. One advantage of running Discover is it's a web UI so that the, the end user is not directly connected to the storage. I don't have any concerns of Discover creating any kind of corruption because of the, the read-only limitations that we have extended to Discover. We see the AJA Discover Media Edition as a powerful tool for multiple people within the production environment, whether that's editors that are looking for individual items, whether it's the IT manager that is having to understand and manage all of those digital assets, all the way up to the executive of those entities who wants to understand how much storage is online and how much am I paying for it. If you don't have that cost parameter, you're running a production line and you don't really understand your cost of goods sold at a granular level. So the Media Edition does a good job of bringing in additional business context. More precise, more informed business decisions that tie back to costs and then ultimately overall profitability. Our client services department uses the, the tool extensively to search for assets for their clients and to facilitate work orders, which would then direct the operations team which media they need to take action on. The next phase of it is 
starting to make people more efficient by giving them some level of functionality to do their jobs so they don't have to get up out of their seat, send an email, make a phone call. You're just empowering people to be more efficient and you're giving them tools to be more efficient. Being able to expand on our Elasticsearch cluster gives us that ability to grow these volumes and grow the amount of data that we're trying to search against. Because of the open source nature behind Discover, we can develop plugins through Python or one of the other plugin environments that Discover supports. Sometimes things get delivered to us a way that the file name says one thing, but the metadata says something different. And having Discover, a web-based tool that gives us the ability to look up that information and, and be a validation without having to actually touch that piece of media is a great help. This software helps address the ongoing problem of those individuals, and they may be in multiple different roles in that production, trying to get a global view of the assets for that production. There's many stakeholders in this data that's coming through, from the, from the people that own it, to the people that pay for it, to the people that are doing the, the value out on the data to the people that are managing the resources that it sits on. And this software really gives you the ability to understand all of that unstructured data and put it into a nice, easy to understand interface that gives you an incredible amount of metadata and also pricing information on how much it's costing on that individual asset level to keep that stuff available. It's really just opening a web browser, logging in, and there's your information. So it just couldn't be easier. One of the keys to AJ's success this many years has been our ability to partner. We've partnered with the biggest names in technology, which our customers are aware of, and brought many successful products to market based on those partnerships. So let's take the AJA experience and fold Discover into that as well. So what you're going to do is bridge together workflows, suppliers of data, and the first thing they have in common is they land on a piece of storage. So you're going to index that piece of storage and somebody else is going to need to consume that index. And if you think about a series of bridges to who might need to consume that, that index of data, with the AJA partnership and the media edition, we're already building the common bridges to the workflows. One of the attractive and interesting things about Discover for us was that it's built on an open source platform. And there's a lot of strengths there because they have thousands and thousands of stargazers on GitHub who are helping to contribute to the robustness and feature set of the product itself. The relationship with Discover is unique for us and we're very excited about it because it's the first time that AJA has invested in another company. And it's for a combination of reasons. The technology seems incredibly interesting and rock solid. The team behind it is a proven bunch of people that have brought successful data management products to market before. And we really feel the combination of the technology, the people behind it, and AJA's know-how are going to create a very compelling solution for our customers and immediately start solving what we feel are very relevant problems and problems that are going to continue to grow unless it's addressed. Mm -hmm.